Hey yo, what's good? What's poppin'? What's happening with you all? It's your boy Gold Phoenix in the flesh. Rise from the ashes and be blessed. You already know what it is. Listen up. As you can see, I'm back in the truck. I don't know if I told you guys or not. I don't know. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus for the longest. But I have been home for a little over two weeks now. <laughs> I'm about to get back on the road tomorrow. But it was a much much needed break i'm feeling good i'm feeling rejuvenated i'm feeling much much better than i was uh, i said about a month ago i put it like that you know what i'm saying like see here's the thing you guys saw the video it was titled the student from hell right that whole experience and mind you i didn't even tell you guys the full spectrum the whole story okay i just told you guys what was on my mind at the moment but i ain't tell you guys about everything that happened everything i was going through you know all the money that i had lost and yada yada you know I told you guys what i could at the time but what i will say about that experience is it stressed me beyond my limit you know what i'm saying like it was at a point where i was i was so burnt out that in my mind, I actually contemplated if this is even worth it or not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I was like, yo, I don't, I don't want to do this right now. I just don't. I just, I don't want to be in the truck. I don't want to be at my freaking terminal. Even though the the terminal about 600 miles from here was the last place I was before I came home. Well, stopped at the terminal up in Missouri came down to Texas, delivered in Fort Worth, and then I went home from there. But um, that's neither here nor there. I needed a break. I didn't want to think about making YouTube videos. You know, I know that the videos that I put out, the content I put out, whatever you want to call it, does help and inspire a lot of people. You know, I get the messages all the time. I get the comments all the time. You know, and, and I appreciate you guys for continuing to watch my videos and comment, interact, all that stuff. I've been seeing that. My subscribers went up. I'm over 800 now. Didn't know that would happen. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it is. I needed time to myself. I needed time to think. I needed time to reflect um, and just get my head together, get my head back in the game. But I also needed some time to not think about work whatsoever i needed time to just be selfish you know what i'm saying let's go do what i want to do you know let, let's drive to the fancy cars and you know go to the nice restaurants and hang out with the people that i want to hang out with spend time with my family and whatnot even though you know my brother been working and stuff like that but i got to see my little five-year-old nephew i got to be here for his birthday you know he ripped one of my earrings out of my ear so I ended up going down seeing my jeweler and having some new ones made yes I said made um but it was just much needed time I haven't been to my actual home in like a year you know what I'm saying it's like the town that I live in is completely different there's new buildings new businesses new restaurants new faces and it's like new everything you know, and the reason I wasn't really coming to my own domicile was because I had obligations elsewhere. You guys know, I, you know I'll be going to Georgia sometimes. I got stuff that I deal with over there, obligations over there, and, you know, that kind of thing. So I wouldn't, you know, I was so busy there that I wasn't able to come home for real. I was able to take a little bit of time off here and there, but not home time necessarily, even though it counts as home time. You see what I'm saying? I was gonna take three weeks off, shoot. But the only reason I'm not is because December is right around the corner. My birthday is in December, and then a couple days after that, you got Christmas, and then not too long after that, you got New Year. So I'ma just take that entire stretch of time off. Um, but I'm coming back with a vengeance. You feel me? I say you see the smile, you see the, the Maui gems, He's the whole hives, by the way. 
love these glasses. These are the best shades, hands down. Maui Gen makes the best lenses, bar none. I don't care what anybody says. Um, and I got a few more pairs you guys will see in various videos here and there, but um, these are probably my favorite ones right now. Anyway, that's beside the point. Check me out. This is very important to anybody who is new in this or has been doing this for a very long time. Take it from me. I have a very workaholic mentality. Once I get going, I don't tend to stop. Sometimes I don't know how to stop. I have to be told to stop every now and then. You can get so caught up in the money or just the monotony of the job itself, the lifestyle, so on and so forth. You can get so caught up in it that you forget that sometimes you really do need to just live a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And that's a problem that I have acknowledged in this time off that I do have. On top of the fact that I do have people in my life who, you know, will tell me you need to work, 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 work. Yo, you're young. Cause I'm young, I'm 23, I'm about to be 24 in a couple of months. Oh, you're young, you need, you need to use this time to, and yes, I understand the logic behind that. At the same time, I have, in the past, worked myself into illness before. Those of you who've been following me for, you know, I guess um, a long period of time, will remember a video I did when I was sick. I didn't have, you know, the C-19, I didn't have the flu, I didn't have anything. I was just burned out. I went to my grandfather's house, I laid in a bed for a week straight, I barely moved. I just needed to stop. And basically what I'm getting at is, at some point, you have to acknowledge when you are at your limit. Don't just push it and push it and push it and push it, not in this industry. This is something that can give a lot to you. This industry has given a lot to me. It's blessed me in many ways, but it can take from you just as easily. I get what I'm coming from? Like, yo, respect it. You have to respect that. Because if you don't stop when it is necessary for you to stop, at some point you will be forced. And if you are forced to, whether that is due to illness, whether that is due to unfortunate circumstances like an accident, so on, whatever, it's going, something's going to put you out of commission. I guarantee you, you will have a much easier time if you stop willingly than if you are made to. Food for thought. This isn't gonna be a long video. I just wanted to, you know, get, let y'all know I'm I. Right. I haven't made a video in a very, you know, long time. You know, I've, I've been aware of that, but like I said, I needed time to myself. I needed time not to think. I needed time to not think about anyone else. That includes you guys. You know, I hate to say it that way, but I cannot go against what I know about myself to satisfy anyone. That's as a trainer, that's as a, a content creator, I guess you could call me a trucker, anybody, my dispatcher is gonna have to be upset until I'm ready to come back out. You know what I'm saying? Any student I got, well, I don't have one right now, but you know, any student I have is going to have to acknowledge that you know, every now and then, depending on how things line up, you might take you know a couple of days off here and there. There's a lot of students who just wanna run until their entire training process is over with, but what a lot of them don't acknowledge necessarily is that I could have been out for two months already before you got on my truck and to finish your training could take another two, three months or whatever, that's five months out. You don't think I'm gonna get burned? Food for thought. Don't overexert yourself in an industry that will replace you within minutes, if not seconds. These companies don't care about you. These brokerages don't care about you. These agents don't care about you. You have to care about yourself first and foremost. Unapologetically at that. I'm just at a point now where I realize that I, I have to be more proactive and aware of how I'm feeling, what my morale is, and not ignore it. 
I'm not. I'm just not gonna do that anymore. I'm not gonna do it to satisfy anyone. Not the company. Not family, friends. Nobody. I'll do what's best for me. So my plan now, you know, it's shoot, whatever today's date is. I don't know. October twenty eighth. I'll probably stay out until towards the end of December. Like I said, my birthday is around that time. I'm hoping that I'll be able to train a friend of mine who I used to work with a few years ago back when I worked for Home Depot. You know, he was one of the first people I got to know when I moved to Texas. You know, that was one of, um, that was the first job I got when I moved out here, you know, and we were two of the most ostracized people who worked there because we could do pretty much everything. You know, everybody always had something to say about one of us or whatever, but we had every license. We could work every department. We could do any and everything. And I guess that sparked some level of jealousy amongst coworkers, I guess you could say, which of course ended up manifesting and leading to both of us being terminated at different points in time, but both of us got fired. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, man. Like I said, I'm back with a vengeance. I'm here to reclaim all of the funds that I spent for one, but also looking at this industry and myself with a new pair of eyes. Hopefully my journey is able to help somebody else progress in a way beneficial to them, not anyone else but what's good for you because I'm going to do what's good for me always anyway that's all I had to say about that man I'm going to hop back in the car after I pack these groceries away I'm going to go back home I think I got to run back to the store I might have forgot uh, I think I forgot something trash bags I forgot about trash bags yes I use actual trash bags not the store bags for groceries and that. I'm more civilized than that but anyway that's beside the point as I always tell you guys be happy, stay blessed, do not be afraid to make drastic changes in your life, it might end up being the best decision you ever made. I am the one and only Gold Phoenix, and I'm out.